different than what the other performers do, what we typically do on recitals. Typically, uh, the project involves learning a song, listening to the album, and basically mimicking as closely as possible to the student's ability what you hear on the album, or the recording, whatever, you know, whatever recording version we're using. Um, it starts with the young students playing just time, and then swoop getting to the point where they can go from one, you know, one voice to another on the drum set, and we add fills, and we work our way up and learn songs that way. Uh, what our last performer is going to do is actually take it a step beyond that. Rather than just play the parts that were on the recording and on the album, he's actually done what we call a drum remix, where he's recreated the parts and uh, reimagined them in his own sort of fashion. So he's taken what's there, he's used that as a guide, and he's now made that his own and created his own parts for the song. This is actually a, a new phenomenon in drumming. Uh, it's actually a result of YouTube, believe it or not. It's, that is influenced the music. Yeah, YouTube's had that much influence, but it's almost a new genre, a new style of playing. Um, and what happened, it started with a drummer named Travis Barker. He did some remixes of a couple hip-hop songs. He's a rock drummer, a punk drummer. And he did it first, and then a this guy named Kobus from South Africa kind of picked up and started doing it. And now you see a lot of people all around on YouTube that are doing these drum remixes. So, doing a drum remix of Payphone, our final performer, Errol Koenig. <laughs>